excellence is never an accident. It is the result of honest intentions, sincere efforts, meticulous planning, skillful execution, and most importantly, the vision to see obstacles as opportunities. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to Reverence 2023, the annual prize distribution ceremony of Delhi Public School, Ruby Park. No dream is too big and no dreamer is too small. A dream does not become a reality through magic. It needs courage to pursue despite hurdles. After a hiatus of three long years, Reverence is finally back to showcase the spark of excellence in every dip site. There is no better way to bolster their confidence than to acknowledge and adulate their unrelenting efforts, indomitable determination, and untiring perseverance. So, without further ado, let the magic of Reverence 2023 take over. The bright yellow flame of the ceremonial lamp symbolizes the innate passion, new beginnings, and purity that exist within each of us. May we now request our principal, Jayati Choudhury, ma'am, to invite the chief guest and the guest of honor to come up on stage and light the inaugural lamp. May we also request the honorable president of Om Dayal Educational and Research Society, Sri S. S. Agarwalji, Vice President of Om Dayal Educational and Research Society, Sri Sanjeev Agarwalji, Secretary of Om Dayal Educational and Research Society, and Pro Vice Chairman of DPS Ruby Park, Kolkata, Sri Alok Tibrewalji, Treasurer of Om Dayal Educational and Research Society, Srimati Usha Tibrewalji, Governing Body Members of Om Dayal Educational and Research Society, Sri Pankaj Bharaj and Sri Sagar Agarwalji to do the honors. This will be accompanied by the chanting of the Ganesh Vandana.
what cannot be expressed soothes the mind heals the heart and makes it flow from heaven to the soul let the school choir comprising 90 of our most gifted singers from classes 5 to 9 take you on a mellifluous journey with a rendition of man mandira based on rag desh by shankar asan loy Oh 
you. That was indeed a wonderful performance. It is said that one cannot play a symphony alone. It takes an orchestra to play it. A harmonious blend of many notes can be both invigorating and soothing. The school orchestra comprising 97 of our most talented guitarists, drummers, violinists, tabla players and keyboardists from classes 5 to 12 will mesmerize you with a perfect symphony of the Indian version of the theme song of Game of Thrones.
thank you. That was truly a splendid performance. May we now request our principal, Jayati Chaudhuri, ma'am, to welcome the dignitaries. Ma'am, please. Good evening, respected guests. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to Reverence 2023, the annual prize distribution of Delhi Public School, Ruby Park, Kolkata. I take this opportunity to extend a warm welcome to our chief guest for the evening, Ms. Melinda Pavek, the U.S. Consul General, Kolkata. It is indeed an honor to have you amongst us today, ma'am. Ms. Pavek boasts of a rich resume before she commenced her Kolkata chapter in 2021. Armed with a master's degree in business administration, MBA in operations, supply chain, and strategy from the Carlson School of Management at the University of Minnesota, she has already made a mark as counselor for science, innovation, and development, U.S. Embassy, Tokyo. Supervisory General Service Officer, U.S. Embassy, Islamabad, Pakistan, and Deputy Chief of Mission, U.S. Embassy, Bandar Seri, Bhagawan, Brunei. That's not all. She has also served overseas in Kathmandu, Jamaica, Baghdad, and Lahore as well, as on domestic assignment in Washington, D.C., as Special Assistant to the Assistant Secretary for Administration. Ms. Pavik became a Foreign Service Officer with the Department of State in 2004. Madam, we are honored to have you in our midst. Our guest of honor for the evening is Ms. Alokananda Re, a classical dancer of repute, a choreographer, trainer, social reformer, dance educationist, and therapist. The feathers in our cap are many and multifarious. Formally trained in Bharat Natyam and Odissi, she is applauded and acknowledged for her innovative dancing styles and creative stage productions. Ms. Roy has been associated in social reforms through dance therapy in West Bengal Correctional Homes, an initiative to reform, realign, and rehabilitate convicts since 2007. As a performing artist and social reformer, she has been honored with countless awards, the most prominent being the highest state award, Bongo Bibushan, in 2014. She is also an honorary citizen of New York City and Clarksville, USA. Ma'am, we are delighted to have you here today. What makes the evening even more special is the presence of the principals and heads of many reputed city schools. I extend a warm welcome to each one of you. We also have with us the president of Kolkata Sahodaya chapter, Mr. Arup Sharkar. We welcome you, sir. We feel privileged to have with us eminent academicians and distinguished personalities. Your presence will be a catalyst in making this event an enriching and a noteworthy one. We extend a hearty welcome to the distinguished guests. Dear parents, a heartfelt thank you to all of you for being present here. You have been our pillars of support and your unwavering faith and appreciation in all our efforts have encouraged us to strive for excellence time and again. I also take this opportunity to welcome members of the management without whose constant unstinted support and dynamic leadership Delhi Public School Ruby Park would not have been able to churn out success stories year after year. The academic insights of our visionaries have been instrumental in the smooth transition in keeping with the vision of NEP 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel privileged to present before you now the Principal's Annual Report for the academic session 2022-23.
the whole purpose of education is to turn mirrors into windows delhi public school ruby park has completed an eventful journey of over 20 years and as we forge ahead this vision will be our guiding principle It is not without reason that DPS Ruby Park has emerged as one of the pioneers in public school education in the country. We never allow ourselves to rest on our laurels and constantly innovate and reinvent so that our students are equipped with the necessary skills to make a mark in this era of knowledge economy. A robust academic system Followed at DPS Ruby Park is aligned with the vision encapsulated in NEP 2020 and prepares students not only for board and competitive examination but also for life. In fact, this year's commendable board and competitive exam results only prove the point. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel privileged to present before you the annual report of the accomplishments and achievements of the Dipsites of Ruby Park, Kolkata in the academic session 2022-23. In AISSC 2023, Ipsha Ray with 99% emerged the school topper more than 50% of our students secured 90% and above in the aggregate and 83.5% have secured 80% and above in the aggregate in AISSC 2023 303 students secured 90% and above Arunno Haldar a student of the commerce stream is the school topper with a commendable 99% It is such an honor to share with you the stupendous performance of our students in some of the toughest competitive examinations in the country. Forty percent, one twenty-two out of three hundred and five of our student applicants have qualified for the JE Advanced after clearing the JE Main. Eighteen students have secured. more than 99 percentile a special feather in our cap was the je advanced results this year 41 student applicants have qualified for the je advanced examination 20 students have secured rank within 10000 at the state level in wbj 12 candidates have secured rank within top 150 and 19 candidates so far have secured rank within top 500 in WBJ 2023 what can be more commendable for a school than the fact that both rank 1 and rank 2 in WBJ are from DPS Ruby Park Next we come to the NEET 2023 results 91% that is 190 out of 208 of our student applicants have qualified for NEET 2023 14 students have secured more than 99 percentile This year we have two special achievers the first one is Mohammad Sahil Akhtar Sahil was selected to represent India at the International Olympiad on Astronomy and Astrophysics held in Poland in August 2023. Sahil has made us really proud by setting a unique and prestigious record of being the back-to-back -back gold medal winner in two consecutive years in IOAA 2022 and 2023. 
the latest feather in his cap is securing admission in MIT USA. The next special achiever is Soham Das, a student of DPS Ruby Park right from nursery. Soham Das has made us very proud. He topped from Bengal with 100 percentile in the JE Main 2023 with an All India rank of 26. This year, both rank 1 and rank 2 in WBJ are from DPS Ruby Park. Sahil Akhtar and Soham Das have secured the first and second positions respectively. Soham is studying computer science at IIT Kharagpur recently. In the prestigious Jagadish Bose National Science Talent Search Scholarship Test, students of DPS Ruby Park bagged the best school prize in both the senior and junior category of Vigyani Kanya. Among other academic achievements, I would like to mention a few more accolades. In the prestigious B Math and B Stat 2023, conducted by the Indian Statistical Institute, eight students of DPS Ruby Park have secured commendable ranks. In Camp Nasta 2022, Kavya Mahajan of Class 11 and Anubhav Maiti of Class 7 were the state toppers. Shayok Chakraborty of Class 12 is the state topper in NSEB exam. Over the years, many of our students have secured admission in reputed foreign universities like MIT, Columbia University, Illinois Institute of Technology, Cornell University, University of Maryland, Purdue University, and closer home, IIT Kharagpur, IIEST Shippur, Bits Pilani, and the coveted ISC Bangalore. This year, too, our students have secured pride of place in many such universities. A special mention must be made of our alumni who have made a mark for themselves. The right blend of academics and co-curricular activities goes a long way in transitioning students of today into confident leaders of tomorrow. DPS Ruby Park has always emphasized on holistic education, with the National Education Policy to stressing upon the need for holistic education, the school has encouraged students to enthusiastically participate in all categories of co-curricular activities to broaden their horizon and help blossom their inner talents. Our students have made a mark for themselves in inter-school and national and international level competitions, thus keeping the DPS flag flying high. Keeping with global trends, our curriculum has adopted the interdisciplinary and communicative approach which fosters an inclusive perspective. We have different clubs and students enjoy organizing and participating in various events throughout the year. Career counseling sessions are organized in our school on a regular basis by top-notch universities from both India and abroad. The annual day of our school reverence is a momentous occasion to acknowledge and cherish the exceptional performance of the young dipsites in the diverse arenas of academics, sports and co-curricular activities. Our annual play is organized with great enthusiasm and tremendous effort. Over the years, we have chosen varied and inspirational themes like Gandhi, Ramayana, 100 Years of Cinema, Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose, Jungle Book, the story of Sri Krishna and a tribute to Rabindranath. The production this year is a musical, an adaptation of L. Frank Baum's popular American tale, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. The 
entire conceptualization and execution has been done by the students under the able guidance of teachers. Dear audience, you will surely enjoy your peek into some moments from the rehearsal. This year, a total of nearly 1,000 children have taken part. Education is the kindling of a flame, not the filling of a vessel. True education is one which ignites the fire of inquisitiveness, the spirit of inquiry in the learner and not just fill him with loads of information. At DPS Ruby Park, we cultivate curiosity, innovativeness and independent thinking in our students so that they are empowered to think rationally and encounter obstacles confidently. We are confident that as global citizens of tomorrow, they will bring about meaningful changes in society and leave behind footprints in the sands of time. May we request Principal Ma'am and the Honorable President of Om Dayal Educational Research Society, Shri S.S. Agarwalji, to accompany our Chief Guest and Guest of Honor to the stage for the felicitation ceremony. We also request the Vice President of Om Dayal Educational and Research Society, Shri Sanjeev Agarwalji, Secretary of Om Dayal Educational and Research Society and Pro Vice Chairman of DPS Ruby Park, Kolkata, Sri Alok Tibrewalji, Governing Body Members of Om Dayal Educational and Research Society, Sri Pankaj Bhadeji and Sri Sagar Agarwalji to please come up on stage. Our chief guest, Melinda Pavek, is now being felicitated by Sri S. S. Agarwalji, President, Om Dayal Educational and Research Society. And our guest of honor, Olokananda Roy, is being felicitated now. May we now request our esteemed chief guest, Ms. Melinda Pawek, to address the audience. Ma'am, please.
Namaskar and good evening, everyone. It is such an honor to have been invited here this evening to engage with the wonderful students of Delhi Public School, Ruby Park, Kolkata, as they are awarded for their hard work this year and share with us their adaptation of the wonderful Wizard of Oz. I truly enjoyed the performances we've already seen today, and it clearly demonstrates that this school is all about the whole child. It's not just about the education and the learning of information, as was noted, but it's also about building curiosity, it's about building interest in culture and sports, and academic achievement, and confidence. And it's that confidence that will make these students leaders of the future. I have to admit, I was very excited when I saw that the Wizard of Oz was the, a part of the program today. Because, of course, it's a wonderful story. And even though it was written in 1900, um, it became even better known and better loved when it became a cinematic, iconic uh, movie starring Judy Garland in 1939. It has remained one of the most enduring stories of all time because it speaks to both adults and children, and it is accessible in that means. So as I thought about my remarks this evening, I thought specifically that it would be appropriate to talk about the themes from the wonderful Wizard of Oz, um, and specifically, not only the normal themes that we think about, which of course are the story of good versus evil, and how people, people can remain good in the face of evil, um, the importance of home and friendship, the importance of having dreams and hopes and plans, and of course, one of the most important messages, the message of show, showing respect and maintaining and protecting one's reputation. But those are the messages that most everyone knows about. Are you aware of the numerous hidden messages in the story? Um, some of which are, are still a little bit hidden and others which I think we've, we come to know as we see this play more and more. So I did a little bit of research on what are the hidden messages. And in fact, there's an interesting article that says there are 16 hidden messages in this play. But this evening, in the interest of time, I'm just going to share three of my favorites, if you don't mind. The first hidden message is about the main character, Dorothy. Dorothy is said to symbolize the average American and serve as an allegory for the United States itself. Described as each of us at our best, kind but self-respecting, guileless but level-headed, wholesome but plucky, Dorothy stands for the average American stoically looking for a solution to their worldly problems. In The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Dorothy is characterized by a level of independence beyond her years. As an incessant optimist in the face of uncertainty, and through her own assertiveness, the leader of her group, despite her young age. Each of these traits, upon closer inspection, resembles a defining trait of the United States a young nation which won independence from an older force and who idealistically believes in opportunity and a better future for herself and others. I love that image and I also love how accurately it also reflects the history of India. So, of course, in that regard, the U.S. and India partnership of today is very much a partnership of Dorothy's. And as we stand together and stoically look for a solution to our global problems with incessant optimism in the face of uncertainty, we do it because we are better together as friends and partners. The second hidden message I want to discuss involves the Tin Man, one of Dorothy's companions as they quest to slay the Wicked Witch of the West. The Tin Man represents one of the most important political tones of the novel. 
the dehumanization of American factory workers as a result of the Industrial Revolution. The Tin Man was once young and healthy and strong, but he was dispossessed of his limbs by workforce accidents and has lost his heart, which is actually his love of labor due to the condition of modern mass manufacturing at that time. So when Dorothy first meets the Tin Man, he is rusted, and that is a reference to high unemployment caused by the economic depression of the 1890s. But he is ready and able to work when Dorothy adds a little bit of oil to help his rust reduce. I think this hidden message is resonant of our world today. We are a world emerged from a painful global pandemic. We're feeling a little bit tired and uncertain and have a little bit of mental anguish. But we are enthusiastic to be together again. We're enthusiastic to work together again. We're enthusiastic to see what the future can bring us. And both of our nations have members of our labor force that are willing and eager to work and contribute to the productive improvement of our societies. And yet there are things that hold those members back. Supply chain issues that need resolving to make them more resilient fears of a new world run by artificial intelligence or concerns about the impact of artificial intelligence on our democratic values and principles. Societal norms that continue to expect women to be super women and do it all rather than creating a society where there is an equal share of home and office work across partners. So, Beyond gender, there are also members of the LGBTQI plus community and people living with physical disabilities and challenges for whom a lack of acceptance or a lack of accessible infrastructure make the world a heartless place, like the Tin Man experienced. But now our nations, the United States and India, are working together to skill and upskill to empower our labor forces to protect and pr promote our democratic principles and to make investments in climate resilience, mitigation and adaptation. Better together, working to add that touch of oil to give the tin man or our tired folks a new life and set them off on a path to find their heart, which is in the labor that they want to do and enjoy doing. And finally, I'm just going to, my favorite perhaps message of this whole um, hidden message is that The Wizard of Oz is a manifesto about female empowerment and independence. The story is now almost universally acknowledged to be the earliest truly feminist American children's book because of the spunky and tenacious Dorothy. Heavily influenced by his mother-in-law who was a, separ uh, was a suffragist, um, Baum consciously sought to create an independent female character who refreshingly goes out and solves her problems herself rather than waiting patiently for someone else to help. Dorothy not only solves her own issues, but also assists the male characters she encounters during her quest, each of whom lacks a heart, courage, brains, or in the case of the wizard, is a complete fraud. This helping aspect is not unusual for women in society, but what is unique is that she looks, that they look to her as a leader, and that all of the powerful characters in the story are women, making it particularly inspirational. So this part of the story is inspirational not only to girls and women, but to all of us. No matter what challenges come to us, no matter our age or experience or gender or gender identity, we can be proactive and work with others to make the world a better, safer, healthier, and more prosperous place. So these are only three of 16 hidden messages, but I hope that you enjoyed learning about them. I hope that you can see how they apply to your own life and your life choices as you study and dream about the future. I also hope that you can see how they apply to the U.S.-India friendship and partnership that we are nourishing as we together build a more peaceful and prosperous planet for all of our peoples. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here today.
Thank you, ma'am, for your enlightening words. May we now request the president of Om Dayal Educational and Research Society, Sri S. S. Agarwalji, to share a few words with the audience. A very good evening to everybody present here. <clears throat> My thanks and greetings goes to our teaching faculty, our proud parents, and undoubtedly the shining star of Delhi Public School, Ruby Park our amazing angel students. Today, I stand before you filled with immense pride and gratitude. As we come together for the 17th annual day celebration of our esteemed institution. <clears throat> I would also like to personally welcome Honorable United States Consul General, Madam Melinda Pavek. Thanks, ma'am, for you for gracing our marquee event. It's an honor to have you with us today on this momentum's occasion. I would also like to welcome Miss Alok Nanda Roy, a renowned dancer, social worker, and a beacon of inspiration. We are truly privileged to have her here to grace our great event. It has been almost 20 years, two whole decades, since we embarked on this magnificent journey together. More than just a school, Delhi Public School, Ruby Park, has been a guiding light for young minds, leading them towards a brighter future. DPS Ruby Park is not merely about infrastructure, building, or classrooms, or books. It represents the unity, unity the unity of our shared dreams, efforts, and the trumps of our two decades of shared commitments. Thanks to our collective efforts today, we proudly stand as a beacon of educational excellence in the city. This is a testament to the trust our community has placed in us and the quality of education we provide. Mahatma Gandhi once said, quote, I quote, live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever, unquote. When I see the eager faces before me, thirsty for knowledge and ready to take on the world, I am filled with hope. I see in them the future leaders thinkers and doers who will indeed reshape the world with their creativity, innovation, and compassion. Ladies and gentlemen, this year we have surpassed many milestones which our Prisal Mem have shown you in his annual report. I don't want to go into that again. We are proud to have not just accolades, at the national level, but we have also taken great strides in personal <clears throat> growth, resilience, and unity. Our school has truly become a haven where aspirations are given wings 
tonight's performance the wonderful wizard of oz is more than just a tale it mirrors our great journey of discovery challenges and the joy of finding our path as you watch i hope you will you will see elements of our shared experience and feel even more connected to our dps family to conclude as in age we near the two decades mark of our institution story let us renew our pledge to excellence in education every lesson we share is not just about imparting knowledge but also crafting a brighter promising future on that note i welcome the introduction of mr sagar agrawal a young mba in marketing from usa young generation to join our management to bring new innovation and perspective to our esteem institutions here is to many more years of learning growth and new heights we have only just begun thank you i won't take your much time i know the parents are waiting to see the performance of their childs so thank you very much jai hind thank you sir for your words of encouragement success comes to those who have the desire to be the best the courage to stand out and the determination to never forfeit reverence attempts to recognize the sincere efforts of such achievers and inspires others to follow in their footsteps the next segment is the annual prize distribution ceremony to recognize and felicitate students who have reaped the rewards for their persistence and honest endeavors we now hand over the microphone to our teachers for the prize announcements thank you debangona ladies and gentlemen the annual prize distribution ceremony is a red letter day in the academic calendar it gives us great pride to felicitate our special achievers for the session 2022-23 the principal's annual report has given you a comprehensive picture of the stellar performance of our students this year we have already organized special scholar badge assemblies for our outstanding achievers of AISSE and AISSCE 2023 hearty congratulations once again to our 246 students of class 10 and 323 students of class 12 who have secured more than 90% in the aggregate before we begin we would like to inform you that today's prize distribution ceremony will be divided into two segments we begin with the first one may we call upon our principal jyoti choudhury madam our chief guest ms melinda pavek president of om dayal educational and research society shri s s agarwal ji the vice president of om dayal educational and research society shri sanjeev agarwal ji the secretary of om dayal educational and research society and pro vice chairman of delhi public school ruby park kolkata shri alok tibrawal ji to come to the stage and give away the prizes sir and ma'am please The first segment comprises the gold badge awardees of classes 11 and 9.
A gold badge is awarded to a student for securing the scholar badge for five consecutive years. A scholar badge is awarded to students if they have secured a minimum of 90% in aggregate and a minimum of 85% in all subjects. Students in class 11 need to have a minimum of 75% attendance. The attendance criterion for students of class 5 onwards is 80%. Besides, they must not have been absent for any school assessment. In class 11, the gold badge awardee is Aditi Khan. Indeed, it is a stupendous achievement. Congratulations, Aditi. Very well done. We now move on to gold badge awardees of class 9. We begin with Priyanshu Ghosh. Congratulations, Priyanshu. The next awardee is Nilabjo Chakraborty. Followed by Keshika Khaitan. Our next awardee is Shohini Ghosh. Now we have Param Roto Chando. And Project Abid. Congratulations, children. Well done. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. We now request our guest of honor, Ms. Olokananda Roy and governing body members of Om Dayal Educational and Research Society, Shri Pankaj Bharat Ji and Shri Sagar Agarwal Ji to come up on stage and do the honors. We continue with the gold badge awardees of class 9. Coming up first is Anushka Das. Followed by Ritisha Mohanty. We now have Nishan Mondol. Our next recipient is Roshni Chaudhary. She's followed by Abhishruti Vishash. And finally, we have Anshika Dasgupta. Congratulations, students. Well done. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. With that, we come to the end of the first segment of the prize distribution ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, we now move on to the much-awaited annual day play, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. The second segment of prize distribution will begin after the play.
Fairy tales are special. We grow up reading them, wishing them to become a reality. This year we present a classic, but a modern fairy tale, L. Frank Baum's The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. While the book contains all the delight that is typical of a children's story, complex themes are intricately woven in it. The story, essentially a comment on the prevalent political and societal conditions, is an allegory for the rise of populism in the 1890s. The idea of the people against the elite. Thus, munchkins are ordinary people oppressed by the witches of the East. The scarecrow is the farmer. The tin man, the industrial worker who has been dehumanized by factory labor. This classic novel contains themes of self-sufficiency, the importance of life's journey, and friendship. In the post-pandemic world, these are what make the story so relatable. The journey of life is fraught with challenges, just as the yellow brick road was full of unexpected obstacles. The need for friendship is beautifully woven in the rich tapestry of the story. In Kansas, Dorothy lacks friends other than her trusting companion, Toto. However, in the land of Oz, Dorothy makes new friends who provide her with companionship, emotional support, and protection. Along with this is the motive of self-sufficiency, the importance of realizing the power within each of us. The protagonist, Dorothy, is a young girl, is one of the first feminist heroes in children's literature. She represents an embodiment of the common man. She possessed some of the most valued characteristics, kindness, courage, level-headedness, and a willingness to face the unknown. She sets out to solve her own problems rather than idling like a damsel in distress. In the end, she learns that the power to get home was always within. Dear parents, a total of 350 students have come together to create the magic that will soon unfold before you. There are singers, actors, students for voiceover, prop making and the ones who helped out backstage. We hope you enjoy the play as much as we did, putting it up for you. What do you read so much, sir? Hmm? Stories, of course. Because the one who reads lives a thousand lives. Do you read, boy? Nah, I don't know how to read. But I love to listen to stories. Hmm, that's fine. I could tell you a story. I doubt it. I heard your stories are tough. Big people, money, society, morals. I'll pass. Ha. All the world's a stage and all men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. W what? Come again? Ha. I could tell you a story about a farm girl, about a cowardly lion, a tin man, and even a scarecrow. A scarecrow? Like this scarecrow 
How can there be a story about a scarecrow? It cannot talk. It cannot even move. But it can think, my boy. Really? Yes, really. Oh, please, do tell me the story. Okay, then listen. And listen carefully. Once upon a time, there was a girl called Dorothy who lived in a farm in Kansas with her Uncle Henry and Aunt Em. Oh goodness! My heart is thumping so loud that I can hardly breathe. Oh, Toto, no need to be scared. Miss Glatch isn't following us anymore. Did she hurt you? She must be the cruelest old woman that ever was. Let's go till Uncle Henry and Aunt Em. Aunt Em? Uncle Henry! Just listen to what Miss Glatch did to Toto. Go away. Don't bother us. Can't you see we are busy? Oh, but Aunt Em, Miss Glatch hit Toto with a rake. Dorothy, dear, stop imagining things. You just stay out of our way and find yourself a place where there is no trouble. Some place where there isn't any trouble? Is there at all such a place, Toto? Hmm, maybe somewhere far, far away, behind the moon, beyond the rain, over the rainbow. When all the world is a hopeless jumble and the raindrops tumble all around, heaven opens the magic lane. When all the clouds darken up the skyway, there's a rainbow highway to be found. Birds fly over 
Look, it's a twister. And it's heading straight towards us. Oh no, I can't find Dorothy, Henry. Dorothy? Dorothy, come down. Aunt Em, Uncle Henry, where is everybody? Toto, the house isn't moving anymore. I have a feeling we are not in Kansas anymore. We must be over the rainbow. Who are you? I am the Witch of the North. Welcome to our land. But tell me, are you a good witch or a bad witch? Who, me? I'm not a witch at all. I am Dorothy Gale from Kansas. And this is my dog, Toto. <coughs> well, I am a little confused. The munchkins called me. They said a new witch has just dropped a house on the Wicked Witch of the East. I see there's the house and here you are. And those legs with the ruby slippers are all that's left of the Wicked Witch of the East. Now, the munchkins are curious to know who you are. I've already told you that I'm not a witch at all and a beautiful witch you see never heard of that before I thought all witches are old and ugly only the bad ones <laughs> Laughing. They are the Munchkins, the little people of Munchkinland. They are happy because you have freed them from the Wicked Witch of the East. Let the 
joyous news be spread, the wicked old witch at last is dead. said that the wicked witch was dead but who is she <laughs> i'm the witch of the west who killed my sister it's um it's it's my fault i i'm sorry my house dropped on her oh the ruby slippers i shall wear those to make my powers greater than ever! <laughs> you have no power while I'm here. Off you go before somebody drops a house on you too. <laughs> Just try. I'll get you my pretty and your little dog do I'm afraid you have made a bad enemy of the wicked witch of the west the sooner you get out of oz all together the safer you'll sleep my dear oh I would give anything to get out of Oz. But which is the way back to Kansas? I can't go back the way I came. Can you help me, please? I'm afraid I can't, my dear. But the great and wonderful wizard of Oz might be your savior. Where will I find him? Follow the yellow brick road which will lead you to the emerald city where he lives the munchkins will lead you safely to the border of munchkinland but beware never let go of these ruby slippers <laughs> The yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road? Well, which way do we go? That way you go. Who said that? <coughs> don't be silly, Toto. Scarecrows don't talk. It's pleasant down that way too. Are you doing that on purpose? Or can't you make up your mind? Mind. Oh, how can I? I have no brain, but only straw there. Um, can't you come down? I'm not very bright about doing things. Please bend the nail down my back 
and I'll slip off. My, it's great to be free. It's great to be free. How I wish I had a brain. I could while away the hours conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts are busy hatching if I only had a brain. I'd unravel every riddle for any individual in trouble or in pain. With the thoughts I'd be thinking I could be another Lincoln if I only had a brain. Oh, I could tell you why the ocean's near the shore. I could think of things I've never thought before. And then I'd sit and think some more. I would not just be a muffin, my head all full of stuffing, my heart all full of pain. And perhaps I'd deserve you and be even worthy of you if I only had a brain. Are you going to see a wizard? Do you think if I went with you, he would give me some brains? Mm, maybe. Now that you're free? Better. Much better. But not happy. It's still hollow in there. The tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his medal, and yet I'm torn apart. Just because I'm presuming I could be kinda human if I only had a heart. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding love and art. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boys who shoot the arrows if I only had a heart. Picture me a balcony above a boy sings low. Wherefore out thou, Romeo? I hear a beat. How sweet just to register emotion. Jealousy, devotion, and really feel the part. I would stay young and cheaper and I'd lock it with the zipper if I only had a heart. When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his medal, and yet I'm torn apart. Just because I'm presuming I could be kinda human if I only had a heart. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding love and art. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boys who shoot the arrows if I only had a heart. A picture me a balcony above a boy sings low. Wherefore out thou, Romeo? I hear a beat. How sweet. Just to register emotion, jealousy, devotion, and really feel the part. I could stay young and cheaper and unlock it with the zipper if I only had a heart.
why don't you come with us to the Emerald City and ask the Wizard of Oz for a heart? All right, let's go. I don't like this forest. It's dark and creepy. Do do you suppose we'll meet any wild animals here? Some, mostly tigers and bears, <coughs> and lions. Which one of you first? I'll fight you both together if you want. Why did you do that? Goodness gracious! What a fuss you're making! Why? You're nothing but a great big coward! You are right. I am a coward. I haven't got any courage. I I even scare myself. Life is sad, believe me, Missy. When I want to be a sissy without the vim and verb. But I could change my habits, never more be scared of rabbits if I only had the nerve. I'm afraid there's no tonight. I'm just a dandelion, a fate I don't deserve. But I could show my prowess, be alive, not a mouse. If I only had the nerve Oh, I'd be in my stride A king down to the core Oh, I'd roar the way I never roared before And then I'd roar and roar some more I would show the dinosaurus Who's king around the forest A king they better serve and with my regal freezer, I could be another Caesar if I only had the nerve. <laughs> oh, please don't be sad. Come along with us. I'm sure the wizard will help you get back your courage. Oh, will he? Day has gone to rest, the sun is in the west, and now the purple shadows fall. First little star of night, softly to you I call evening star. Said a metal evening star. Tell me, do you see where my love can be? Evening star, you know what my feelings are when the night comes on.
If you are tired, Dorothy, we can take a shortcut. Come to think, <sighs> forty winks wouldn't be a bad idea. I think it's the doing of the wicked witch. What will we do? Help! Help! happen I can't undo the spell of the wicked witch but hmm, perhaps I could do a little magic of my own My white magic has worked like I knew it would be. Oh, what a great and wonderful wizard he must be to live in a city like this. Ha ha ha, ho ho ho, and a couple of cha la flas. That's how we laugh that day, oh, we in the merry old land of Foz. Buzz, 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 chirp, 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 and a couple of laughing dogs. That's how the creek cats creak all day in the merry old land of Oz. We get up at twelve, start to work at one. Take an hour for lunch, and then at two we're done. Jolly good fun, ha ha ha, ho ho ho, and a couple of tra la flas. That's how we laugh that day. We laugh the day away from the merry old land of Foz. Buzz, 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 chirp, 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 and a couple of flatty dust. That's how the crickets creak all day from the merry old land of Foz. We get up at twelve, start to work at one. Take an hour for lunch and then at two we're done. Jolly good fun, ha ha ha, ho ho ho, and a couple of tra la flas. That's how we laugh.
halt! Who goes there? We want to see the wizard! Oh, the wizard! But nobody can see the great Oz! Even I have never seen him! Oh, please! Please, sir! We've got to see the wizard! The good witch of the north has sent us! Prove it! She's wearing the ruby slippers the good witch gave her! Oh, uh, so she is! Welcome to Emerald City! I am Oz, the great and powerful! Who are you? Uh, uh, I am Dorothy, the small and meek. We've come to ask you... Silence! The great and powerful Oz knows why you've come. Step forward, Tin Man. You clinking, clanking, clattering collection of caliginous junk. You dare to come to me for a heart? And you, Scarecrow, you billowing bale of bovine fodder. Brain you ask for. And you, lion? <laughs> <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself Frightening him like that Shh, whippersnapper The beneficent Oz has every intention Of granting your request But first, you must prove yourself worthy By performing a very small task You name it and it's half done. Bring me the broomstick of the Witch of the West. But what if she kills us first? I said, go! I hate her. I hate her not. <laughs> I hate her. I hate her not! <laughs> I hate, hate, hate her! <laughs> now I understand why the poppies failed me. Oz himself should deliver the little baggage into my territory. But how? to bring her here before me. Nico! Nico! Come forth! Fly! Fly! Bring me that girl and her dog! Soon, those darling little red slippers will grace my dainty feet. <laughs> Getting away with Dorothy. Oh, oh help. help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice of you to visit me in my loneliness. What are you going to do with Toto? We are going to drop him in the river if you don't hand over the red slippers. Run, Toto! Run, run, run away as fast as you can! Catch him, you fool! <laughs> oh, how can anyone be so nasty, so mean, and so cruel? Lots and lots of practice! <laughs> I cannot wait forever to get those shoes! Yeah. <laughs>
Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of spears. The sands of time have run out for all of you. <laughs> the last to go will see the first three go before her. And your mangy little Matu. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who shall be the first to go? Girl? Tin man? No! Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha, 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 ha. My broom has chosen... Scarecrow! <laughs> no! 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 Look at what you've done! Oh, 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 I'm melting! I'm melting! Oh, who would have thought a good little girl like you could have destroyed my beautiful wickedness? But... <laughs> Those ruby slippers! Oh! Oh! Going! Going! Gone! She's dead? She's dead! She is dead! You've killed her? The wicked witch is dead! Hail Dorothy! You are now our queen. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch or witch, the wicked witch. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. Wake up, sleepy head. Rub your eyes, get out of bed. Wake up, the wicked witch is dead. She's gone where the goblins go below, below, below your home. Let's open up and sing and ring the bells of ding dong, the merry old. Sing it high, sing it low. Let them know. again? Why have you come back? Please, sir. We've done what you told us. We've brought you the broomstick of the West Witch. And we melted her. Oh, you liquidated her, eh? Very resourceful. Yes, sir. So, we would like you to keep your promise. No, not so fast. Not so fast. I'll have to think of this. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? But you have had plenty of time already. The great and powerful Oz has spoken. Go! 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 Oh, you are a very bad man. Oh no, my dear. I am a very good man, but just a bad wizard. What about the heart that you promised, Tin Man? A heart for my galvanized friend. <laughs> you don't know how lucky he is not to have one. A heart isn't judged by how much you love, but how much you are loved by others. Oh, it ticks. Luke, listen to my heart. It ticks. And what about the courage? You promised the cowardly lion? Well, as for you, my friend, I hereby award you the Medal of Courage. Read. Read what my medal says. Award it for courage. Isn't it the truth? And Scarecrow's brain? Why, 
Anybody can have a brain. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I hereby confer upon you the honorary degree of THD. THD? What's that? That's, um, <coughs> Doctor of Thinkology. Oh, joy! I've got a brain! I've got a brain! How can I ever thank you? Thank you, Great Oz. But why thank me? I haven't done anything. The power that you seek is already there in you. Put your trust in yourself and you'll realize your innate strength. So, how do you like the story so far? Yes, it's quite interesting. But what about Dorothy? How will she come home? Wait boy, wait. The story isn't over yet. is for me to take you there myself. But I need to embark on a journey into the outer stratosphere. And now it's time to cast off. Farewell, my friends. Oh, my dear friends, you have to leave without me. I'm locked here forever. I'll never see home again. Never is a very, very long time, Dorothy. Oh, please, will you help me? You don't need to be helped any longer. Didn't I say that you always had the power within yourself? So, you can always go back to Kansas. Oh, really? Can, can I go back? Now those magic slippers will take you home. Then close your eyes and tap your heels together three times and think to yourself over and over. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There is no place like home. to get back home for days and days. Sounds like a bad dream. Oh, Dorothy, dear, you are just safe and well and at home. At home? Has the house come back? It fell on the witch, you know. Where's the scarecrow? Tin man and the lion. Oh, don't you believe me? Toto! My dear Toto! Where were you? 
We are both safe and we are at home. Uncle Henry, Aunt Em, there is really no place like home. And I love you all. Did you enjoy the story, lad? I did. And what did you like best? I liked the friendship shared by Dorothy, Tin Man, Scarecrow and the Cowardly Lion. So, you learned the importance of companionship. Anything else? Oh yes. If I want to do something with all my heart, I can make it happen. Correct. You learnt that the magic lies within. Life's battles don't always go to the strongest or the fastest, my boy. Sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. So Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you like the play. Please encourage the students with another huge round of applause. The efforts of 350 students went into that play. We are so glad that you liked it. We now request our guest of honor, Olokananda Roy, madam, to address the gathering. Ma'am, please. Lights on, please. Can we please have the stage lights on? I'm actually speechless. I really don't know where to begin, what to say after this brilliant, brilliant performance. And not just this, but right from the beginning, the orchestra, the chorus, and the song, it was absolutely fascinating. Now, who would like to hear me talk after this brilliant um, program? But all I will say is that my heartiest congratulations to the teachers, 
who taught them. And even the little ones were so well synchronized. You don't get to see those toddlers doing so well. I mean, dancing together, moving together. Each one of them was magic. They were just magic. I enjoyed every bit of it. And today is always, you know, these, this day of the annual program is extra special because it is not only the ones who are good academically, the ones who have the brilliance in other spheres also are showcased in, in such a beautiful manner. As I always say that not everybody is academically brilliant, but there is always something that is special in each, each one of us. As a student, I was very naughty. And I was always pulled up uh, by my teachers telling me, you think you're going to dance through your life, you're going to dance through your life, especially my maths teacher. I hated maths. And she would always pull me up if I didn't do my homework or I didn't do well. But about 20 years back, you know, I've been dancing for almost 70 years now on stage. And yes, I'm a dinosaur, okay? And when I met her about 20 years back and she gave me a big hug and said that, Aluknanda, I'm so proud of you. I said, Miss, finally I've made you happy. So she said, of course, I'm very proud of you. So I said, you know what, miss? Remember what you used to say when I was in school? I said, what? I said, you always asked me that are you going to dance through your life? That's exactly what I've done. I've danced through my life. So how one finds what... Uh, you know, we all have our dreams. Each one of us, each child, we must all follow our dreams and allow the other to follow his or her dream as well. Let's not be competitive. Let's excel in whatever we are good at and let's follow our dreams and let the other one also follow his or hers. Let, on our way to reach our goal, let us not push somebody down. Let us all move together. That's what even Wizard of Wars taught us. To be together, friendship, togetherness, love, and the power is within you, within each one of us. But each one has a different kind of power. I will just say briefly about, you know, the sector I work with, the prisoners, as I keep saying, no child is born a criminal, no child is born an offender. Why they do what they do is something which we have not faced maybe, but they're all human beings and everybody deserves a second chance. That is what all these children in the prison, they all call me Ma. I keep telling them that your reformation is a revelation to the world because let people know that there is God within all of us. Let us remember that and love one another and let us learn not to be too judgmental and we learn to forgive one another. Thank you so much for inviting me and what a brilliant, brilliant performance. I'll go back with this and remember this for many, many days, I'm sure. And congratulations again to all the teachers, all the teachers. I know being a teacher what it takes to put up this kind of a performance and how proud one feels when your children do well. Thank you. Thank you, parents. And just don't push your dreams into your children. Let them dream on their own. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for those inspiring words. We will now begin with the second segment of the annual prize distribution ceremony. Reverence is truly a day to celebrate diligence, commitment, 
and refinement. Join us in honoring the relentless efforts of our students who have worked tirelessly to achieve greatness. This is their day, a celebration of dedication and elegance. We now hand over the microphone to our teachers for the next section of the prize announcements. Leaving behind the wonderful and magical land of Oz, we now head back to the land of reality. And the reality is that Delhi Public School Ruby Park provides the perfect springboard for students to excel in both academics and co-curricular activities. We are just taking a short break, very short break, before we start the prize distribution. May we call upon Principal Ma'am, Vice Principal Indrani Chattopadhyay Ma'am, and our respected guest, Sri Pradeep Bhattacharya, to come up on stage to give away the prizes. Continuing with the prize distribution, we start the next category, which is the Honor Badge, awarded to students who have received the Scholar Badge for three consecutive years. This year, the Honor Badge awardees are students of Class 9. We start with Shutitha Ghosh, followed by Kushal Ghosh. Oishik Chakraborty is coming up now. Ishan Bishash is our next recipient. We now have Poshpi Chakraborty. Adrija Bhattacharya, Oishiki Bhattacharya comes up next, Shubhalakshmi Das, Rajveer Singh, our next recipient. Ashna Ajay Tharavat. Ishani Manna. Anirudh Saxena, now we have Shayon Shaha, followed by Adreja and Chaudhary, now we have Abdullah Zaki, Followed by Rahul Basuroy, Shruti Haldar comes up next,
Ankita Singh. Dear parents, I think they deserve a louder round of applause. Thank you so much. We now have Ayush Datta. They have been getting the scholar badge for three consecutive years. Tanishka Pine comes up next. Oishani Mondol. Dhruvika Ghosh. And the final recipient, Anish Mishra. Congratulations, students. Thank you, Pradeep, sir. We request Vice Principal Ma'am to remain on stage. We now move to the Scholar Badge Awardees of Session 22-23. We begin with awardees of Class 11. May we call upon our senior secondary headmistress, Kundavali Saraugi, ma'am, to come up on stage. Dear parents, you will all agree that securing a scholar badge in class 11 is no mean feat. We are so happy to announce that this year, 19 students of class 11 have secured the scholar badge. Indeed, it is a special year for us. The first recipient is Kunini Kashaha. Our next awardee is Ritojit Bhattacharya. Followed by Rupsha Rajib Ghosh. Anisha Yasmin comes next. Now we have Mohammad Masood Iqbal on stage receiving the award. Followed by Urchish Mandas. Our next awardee is Hia Shamunto. Sanvi Bhomek. Mohammad Aman Khan comes next. Our next award is Anubhuti. We now have Orkudi Pramanik. The next scholar badge award is Shoham Das. Followed by Shorjo Marik. Sneha Bose comes next to receive her award. And the final awardee is Tonishtha Tridip Ghosh. Congratulations, students. Well done. Thank you, ma'am. We now call upon our headmistress, Preeti Singh, ma'am, coordinator, Shudipta Mojumdar, sir, and class two representative, Debolina Chakraborty, ma'am, to join principal, ma'am, on stage. The next category is scholar badge 
for our little geniuses from classes 2, 3, and 4. At the end of the academic year, a child studying in these three classes is awarded a scholar badge for outstanding academic achievement in all the three terms. That is, they have to secure 15 O's or outstanding grade in all the five academic subjects. We start with the Scholar Badge awardees of class 2. Anamita Roy Chaudhary, Vedanshi Chakraborty, Arya Chaudhary, Aditya Ghosh Roy, Adrish Chaudhary, Dakshaja Chaudhary, Shorish Datta, Chirag Mohanti, Gerig Jana, Mohanish Konar, Ryan Shraha, Suniraj Majumdar, Ranak Kaur, Shoptik Mondol, Adish Rai, Advika Shengupto, Senmil Adhikari, Oishani Shen, Annav Shengupto, Kaya Sinha, Arohi Shaha, Ritama Das, Srihita Chatterjee, Srijoni Ganguli, and Shairi Chatterjee. Congratulations, students. Thank you. We request Preeti Ma'am and Shudipto Sir to remain on stage. We now move on to the Scholar Badge Awardees of Class 3. May we request Class 3 representative Dipanita Mukherjee Ma'am to please come up on stage and do the honors. We begin with Advik Sen Gupta, Aviraj Paul, Devanshi Gupta, Aradhika Chatterjee, Orinjoy Ghosh, Ishita Roy, Kinjal Ghosh, Abhipsha Shorkar, Divyan Shah, Riyan Roy, Adarshini Datta, Ayan Amin, Sanvi Srivastav, Koshari Das, Tanvi Pal, Trinesh Roy, Diptorak Das, and Rishikal Puroi. Congratulations, students. Thank you. Thank you, Shudipto, sir. And thank you, Dipanita, ma'am. The next recipients will be Scholar Badge awardees of Class 4. May we request Coordinator Bishojit Nondisa and Class 4 representative Aditi Sengupta ma'am to come up on stage. We begin with Advia Mundra, Siddhant Chaturvedi, Diptabho Chakraborty, Sarthak Mandal, Anshuman De, Ishayu Bose, Srijan Shah, Anusha Prasad, Anushri Haid, Pratiti Roy, Srijato Bhomik, Ranjaboti Dev, Falak Prakash, Shatudru Ghosh, Orna Mukherjee, Abishnu Bhattacharya, and Sharanya Das. Congratulations, students. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. We now request our Vice Principal Ma'am and Headmistress Ronja Bhumik Ma'am to come up on stage for the next set of awards. The next category is the Consistent Effort Award. The Consistent Effort Award is given to encourage our primary school students who have shown steady progress throughout the academic session. Ladies and gentlemen, we now start with the awardees of class two. Coming up on stage is Ryan Ghosh. Please put your hands together for Ryan Ghosh, our young achiever. Congratulations, Ryan. Following Ryan, we have Satvik Dhar.
Congratulations, students. We move on to awardees of class three. The first awardee is Aban Haq. Followed by Samriddhi Shah. Well done, students. We now have awardees from class four. First up is Anjali Jaiswal. Following Anjali is Aradhya Gupta. Ladies and gentlemen, these young achievers deserve a lot of applause. Congratulations, students. Thank you, ma'am. We now call upon coordinators, Shorof Kormukar sir, Kumar Kishle sir, and class five representative, Shutapa Shen ma'am, to come to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just to reiterate that from class five onwards, a scholar badge is awarded to students if they have secured a minimum of 90% in aggregate and a minimum of 85% in all subjects. This year, a staggering 97 young achievers from class five have secured the scholar badge, having proved their mettle. We start with the first slot of class five awardees. Adrit Robera, Anish Dash, Anshrad Singh, Asmita Kundu, Pritashmi Banerjee, Rajnandini Chaudhary, Spandan Majumdar, Vivek Chakraborty, Kashvi Mishra, Srijita Ghosh, Siddhajit Mondol, Sreshta Mahajan, Ayushman Bera, Aditya Agarwal, Adrija Mukherjee, Amitosh Pal, Anavi Tiwari, Anjishnu Shen, Sheryar Ahmed, Animesh Arsh, Arya Alam Malik, Kavya Jha, Rishona Shah, Sharanya Bishash, Shreyan Mitra, Shreyas Pal, Shraddha Sharma, Srimanti Majumdar, and Shornavo Sharkar. Congratulations, students. Thank you. We continue with the second slot of awardees from class five. Akanksha Datta, Alman Javed Khan, Ayushman Banerjee, Girika Shorkar, Ryan Bose, Shabiri Shen, Sanvi Mukherjee, Shashwat Jha, Adrit Muitro, Ohana Dashgupta, Lesha Chatterjee, Sajak Gupta, Siddharth Paul, Somrit Paul, Shonabo Datta, Shonavo Ray, Yuktika Bang, Oishani Indra, Oishiki Chaudhary, Rishan Shorkar, Rishit Das, Rishita Mondol, Srishti Sahu, Ahana Roy, Adiraj Shen, Aditri De, Adrita Das, Aripra Bishoi, Arsh Islam, Ayan Heather, Devishi Ghosh, Debbojoti Sahu, Diptorko Mandal, Sadvi Rudro, Sai Shivangi Dash, and Shorudipto Mukherjee. Congratulations, students. Thank you, children. Second line, move. Next on stage is the final lot from class five. We had to divide them into three groups because of this huge number. Aradhya Srivastav, Alekya Shen Gupto, Rijay Nandi, Irene Ghosh, Poshali Re, Pubali Roy Chaudhuri, Anushka Bar, Ayush Patacharya, Divisha Dhor, Patatra Mondol, Rishit Mohanto, Ritabrata De, Shreya Singh, Spandan Das, 
আদিরাজ ভট্টাচার্যি অর্ণেশ চক্রবর্তী ঔষ্টিক মণ্ডল রেবন্ত বোস ঋষিরাজ মেদ্যা সিঞ্জিনি সরকার সোহম পি দেব স্বরাজ পত্র অনুষা শীত আরফ মণ্ডল রিদিম চৌধুরী সৌরদীপ মান্না তনিষা পাল অ্যান্ড বিবান গুপ্তা কংগ্রাচুলেশন স্টুডেন্টস থ্যাংক ইউ চিলড্রেন ওয়েল ডান Coming up on stage next are scholar badge winners from class 6. This year 66 students are receiving the scholar badge. They will be coming up in two slots. May we now call upon class 6 representative Debushri Chatterjee Boshak ma'am to please come up on stage. We begin with Adhito Ghosh. Arnimit Hajra, Arpita Behra, Shonam Dubhomik, Arav Majumdar, Shibam Nandi, Tashmay Chaudhari, Abhirup Nag, Adrika Haldar, Ishan Kongshabonik, Tista Sen, Adrija Banerjee, Anishka Das, Anushka Banerjee, Naisha Singh, Shreyash Maiti, Tanziru Zaman, Arav Sharma, Anamendi Venkat, Jayashri Banerjee, Shamadrita Mitra, Samridhi Banerjee, Shujan Numitra, Abhrudip Niyogi, Anamitra Sinhare, Anand Chaudhare, Orko De, Elina Shorkar, Pinaki Brahmachari, and Srijan Nath. Congratulations, students. Thank you. We will now have the second slot of class 6 awardees coming up on stage. We begin with Ayush Chakraborty, Ishan Vita Biswas, Jyotira Ditya Pal, Labunya Banerjee, Mihika Basu Roy, Mohak Raj, Shreya Mitra, Urvi Shah, Adrita Ganguly, Sachika Bose, Spandan Kumar Nag, Swapnil Darepa, Shornabu Shorkar, Tiyasha Gurea, Ishan Mitra, Ritvik Shashmal, Sriparna Nayak, Anushka Paul, Aratrika Mukhubadhyay, Nainika Chaudhuri, Pradipta Kumar Jana, Rajana Bhakchi, Shashmit Paul, Sriya Biswas, Shoptik Das, Swarnika Mukherji, Ognidipta Nayak, Druhin Banerjee, Ridhiman Dev, Shrimoy Roy, Devadutta Mukhopadhyay, and Snehal Kumar. Congratulations, students. Thank you. Thank you, Kishle, sir. May we now call upon coordinator Dhrita Ardho ma'am and class 7 representative Dola Pal ma'am to come up on stage. It gives us immense pleasure to apprise you of the fact that 81 bright young minds from class 7 are proud recipients of the scholar badge this year. We have again divided them into three slots, beginning with the first slot. Coming up on stage, Aditya Paul, Anurag Maiti, Ashmit Chakraborty, Ishan Chakraborty, Shagnik De, Anubhav Maiti, Aparajita Biswas, Deboshmi Bhomik, Shonabho Bhattacharya, Sridip Bhadro, Tonoy Sharkar, Zaisha Zaman, Ayushi Sen, Aditya Kaushal, Aurin Chakraborty, Orkin Mandal, Ashmi Avasti, Ayushmita Re, Ballav Das, Kirti Krishna, Nishka Chaudhari, Ronish Pal, Shohardo Maiti, Umang Garg, Achintya Pandey, Harshita Raj, Kumari Anushka, Rajonna Das, Sarthak Roy, Shayori Das, and Snehang Shupatro. Congratulations, students. Very well done. Thank you.
we continue with the second slot coming up on stage are angel raj prachi agarwal adrija majumdar arnav singh riddhima sen gupta shagni ghosh sharanya haldar zuhair rob deepak kumar jha ritoja roy shayanton mukherji abhradeep mandal ahona de anika verma dishari pani megra chakraborty shreya lakhotia arunyaya chakraborty avinav rajesh oishani mukherji aishi vishwakarma nishka majumdar prajakta majumdar shaktoki daw and smarto ganai well done children congratulations thank you the next slot is the third slot of class 7 coming up on stage are ayush das devman loshaha riddhiman kundu shomi banerji shoshri chakraborty agrima singhal anshuman das dripto de prapti mitra rishi mahana shriya roy abhav anand adrita chakraborty arush dube deboshri basu nahid akhtar samya padi sanvi datta shriya sarkar and siran pramanik congratulations children thank you may we call upon class 8 representative sudakshna mukherji ma'am to come up on stage now ladies and gentlemen coming up on stage are the scholar badge awardees of class 8 this year 65 students have received the scholar badge from class 8 we have coming up ankush roy ayan sanjeev ishita de shivanshi panda tanishi datta shreya bardhan anubhav guha sanvi rajneesh satvik nag utsav mahato nichoni ghosh ramit mandal rishan ghosh shagnik mandal serish sultana sarangin nandi shomili chandra anushka mandal shreyan sen ashita bakshi abhinit ash anushka chakraborty kashish mahajan sampriti bhatacharya sampuran das vedehi taneja ainesh banerji archisha molik devarsh chakraborty thakur swapnil panda and vaishnavi agarwal congratulations students thank you we continue with the next slot dolorina choudhury arekka shikdar janvi mondol poroma shaha shamit jain arana das parag banerji rasheshwari mondol samriddhi bharatwaj sarthak shreshta swapnil basu ahan kundu aniket datta devi kumar manishka nandan shreyoshi jha akshita josh aryan mitra asmita das kinkini das rishan de shashwat roy anshumita das gupta arudipto bag ayush roy ayushman de lohoma basu shagnik noshkor sudiksha choudhury and trinab datta well done children thank you we now request our coordinators kakuli guha ma'am and sudarshan manasa and class representative arundhati mukherji ma'am to come up on stage for the next set of prizes that is for class 9 27 bright dipsides from class 9 have secured the scholar badge this year beginning with shornodeep tapal hardik agarwal kalpak roy prakriti sen sharma cr kanishk chandra spandan basu anusha das sharma debanjana roy shubhashri mandal arpita maiti swapnil roy shreya shri mandal oishi goswami nabiha sharin 
অহন চক্রবর্তী আর্চিতা মাহাতো আত্রিতা ঘোষ অহনা ভট্টা ভার্গব কেজরিওয়াল সাঁজরাক মুখার্জি আর্চিষা সেনগুপ্তা সুকৃত মজুমদার বসুধারা দাস আদ্রিজা খান এড্রিয়ান চ্যাটার্জি শ্রীজা মাইতি অ্যান্ড সৃজনী ঘোষ কংগ্রাচুলেশন স্টুডেন্টস থ্যাংক ইউ With that, we come to the end of our prize distribution ceremony. Before the curtains come down for Reverence 2023, I call upon our head girl, Kavya Mahajan, to deliver the vote of thanks. We request parents to carefully listen to the announcements after the national anthem for a smooth dispersal. Thank you so much. A very, a very good evening to all. As the curtains come down on Reverence 2023, a grand celebration of achievements, talents, and our spirit of unity, it is only fitting that we express our sincere appreciation to all those who have made this event possible. I extend our heartfelt thanks to respected Principal Ma'am for her unwavering support and guidance in all our endeavors. I would also like to thank our honorable chief guest, Ms. Melinda Pavik, for gracing this occasion with her presence. We are deeply thankful to our guest of honor, Ms. Alokananda Roy, and all our distinguished guests who have taken time out of their busy schedules to join us today. Your presence adds prestige to our celebration. I extend our sincere gratitude to our Vice Principal Ma'am and Headmistresses for their faith in our efforts and their constant encouragement. We also take this opportunity to extend a heartfelt thanks to the Management Committee for their unwavering support. Our heartfelt thanks go out to the dedicated team of teachers and staff who have worked tirelessly and supported us every step of the way. This program would not have been a success without the relentless efforts of the organizing committee, the technical team, the volunteers, and all those who have worked tirelessly behind the scenes. I would also like to extend our gratitude to our parents who have been a constant source of support throughout this journey. And finally, I would like to applaud the enthusiastic participants for their hard work and dedication that have made this annual day a resounding success. Thank you for filling this evening with such vibrant colors. Thank you once again to each and every one of you for being a part of this memorable evening. You are all requested to please rise for the national anthem. Hello. जन गन मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजराठ मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंद हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्छल जल धित रंगा तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तब जय गाथा जन गन मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे